Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. Today I'm going to show you what I think is the best upgrade to any 3D printer. This upgrade will save you time, heartache, and even bodily injury. And I'm not even talking about my cat Sven that's helping me with this upgrade. The upgrade that I'm referring to is for your print bed. Specifically, it's upgrading to a magnetic, flexible, removable print bed. There are a lot of different manufacturers of these magnetic print beds, but today I've purchased a bed from Wham Bam Systems for my GTEC A10M. If you've watched my review of the A10M, which is linked in the description, you know that I love this printer, but the bed is a little too grippy. This makes prints a little difficult to remove at times, and I run the risk of damaging the print, or even myself. And after only a month or so, I have some pretty big scratches on this printer's standard mylar surface. My TiVo Tornado has had a wham bam bed for the last two years, so when I got the A10M, I knew I needed to switch out the bed. So I picked up a 235mm by 235mm flexible build system from Wham Bam Systems. Costing only 55 US dollars for this size, the system comes with a high temperature resistant magnetic base, a flexible spring steel plate, and their custom PEX print surface. The magnetic base and the PEX surface are both coated with 3M adhesive. They have a variety of different shapes and sizes, so you can find the right size for your own printer. Be aware that the size of your bed is not necessarily the size of your build volume. For instance, the A10M has a 220mm by 220mm build area, but the bed itself is 235mm in both directions. So measure twice. The installation is pretty easy. First, I remove the existing mylar bed surface to reveal the aluminum heated bed below. Next, make sure the bed is clean by wiping it down with acetone. Before putting on the magnetic surface, you need to make sure that your bed is free from warping. The magnetic surface is somewhat flexible, so if your bed is warped, then the magnetic surface will also be warped. So use a level to make sure everything is nice and flat, and shim the bed with aluminum strips if you need to adjust it. Luckily, this bed is level, so we can move on to the next item. Now, we can adhere the magnetic surface directly to the aluminum. We start by lining up the back edge, expose about an inch of the adhesive, and press down. Now slowly peel away more of the adhesive from back to front. Make sure you work out any air bubbles as you work from one edge to the other. After the bed is adhered, Put a sheet of paper on top and press firmly on the bed, burnishing the surface to make sure all parts of the magnet are firmly attached to the aluminum. The next step is adhering the PEX build surface to the spring steel plate. I put the plate onto the magnetic bed just to make it easier to line everything up. Then we install the PEX surface just like we did with the magnets. It is adhesive backed, so after cleaning the spring steel, we can expose an inch of the adhesive and work from back towards the front making sure to remove as many air bubbles as possible. And that's it, the bed is installed. Wham Bam recommends using triple zero steel wool on the PEC surface with rubbing alcohol to clean it between prints. The last adjustment we need to make is to adjust your printer's Z-Home. The magnetic bed, spring steel, and PEC surfaces are significantly thicker than my old bed, almost two millimeters thicker. I had to move my X-axis end stop up to compensate and then make sure my bed is leveled. So now we're ready. I love the look of the bed. The silver finish is a nice contrast and it fits perfectly on the printer. But we didn't buy it for its looks. We bought it to be printed on. The first print as always is a 20 millimeter calibration cube in PLA. It's stuck to the surface just fine with a good looking first layer. After the print is finished, I removed the print bed and with just a couple of quick flexes, it came right off. The bottom surface is very pleasing to look at. It's nice and smooth and pretty reflective. Let's print something with a larger bottom surface area. This vase will be a nice test. Again, the first layer printed nicely. Let's fast forward a few hours until the print is finished. And here we go. Again, we can just pull the print bed off and flex the spring steel to easily cause the print to pop off. So satisfying. And a quick blade takes care of peeling off the skirt material. So for those wondering what I think are the must have upgrades for your 3D printer, this would be my recommendation. The ease of removal makes life so much easier, and it can also make you more productive. If you have multiple spring steel plates, you can remove one immediately after the print has finished and replace it with a new one. 
so you can start your next prints before your previous prints has even finished cooling. So thank you all for watching. If you have recommendations for flexible beds, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. This video isn't sponsored by Wham Bam. I purchased this kit myself, I just really like their system. So thanks for making such a good product, Wham Bam. And thank you all for watching. I will see you all next time.